Hiya folks, uh, just having a quick couple of hours on the River Doon I'm actually further up today so I'm and uh, so just fishing for the salmon it's a wee bit warm, that's the only thing, it's clammy the, the river was up about a foot yesterday and got really dirty when I when I was on further down so I just didn't didn't fish. I basically had a look at the water, seen it was getting dirty, and decided to just leave it. But got a chance to fish a bit further up. So I'm going to head down and fish basically three of the main pools. We'll see how it goes and. Uh, have a look at the water once we get there. As I say, it's only a couple of hours. It's, it's a bit warm, like, but it's good exercise. <laughs> but anyway, we'll, we'll manage. And uh, we'll see how we get on. The rivers. I mean, there's a good run in it still. Uh, the marker's down here, so I should be able to see how high it is. I'm looking at the colour. The colour's okay. And uh, when I walk down and fished, two, oh, there's two main pools just below here. So, I mean, these are good runs. Just beside, beside this here. So the I'm looking at a stone on the far side. It's, it looks like it's dropped two or three inches by the mark on it. So we'll see. But I mean, the thing is, there's forecast is the odd thunderstorm here and there. I mean, it could easily go up again. It's further up the river, it falls in the right area anyway. But we'll, we'll see. At least not too bad though. I'm going to show you this. This is a temple dog style fly. It's basically, this is an alley shrimp um, tying on. It's a quarter inch tube. You can see it's a big, biggish, bright fly. Now, I've got a leader length of about 11 foot and slip it on, obviously head first as you can see we tie on a, I've got a barbless treble here when, because of this, the height of the water and the colour I want a bright fly and I'm fishing a leader length that with the weight of the fly I can get down without with the floating line and we'll see because the fish will be running, if there's fish there, they'll be running. So, top blood knot, as simple as, simple as that. And all I do is, there's a tube, it's got a sleeve at the back, tied to the, well, it's not tied, but it's slipped on the tube at the back. And you just pull it in, and there we are. And that's basically the alley shrimp and temple dog style. Swims really well certainly catch their eyes. So what I'm going to do is start right at the very top of this run. You can see the length of my leader. I'll show you the fly. I don't even see it, but I can see it. It's, not, it's quite a long cast start for the... The reason I'm using it as well, as I say, to get down and it means I can Entice a fish to take, so the sinker it's just perfect, it's ideal. 
I'm fishing my micro spear, my 11 foot. It's a 7 8, this one. As I say, it's a floating line. And uh, as you see, the water's running through quite quick. But the main area is in here. We'll pause just in this run before they come up, just above us. I've not seen a fish or any jump, so uh, it's not to say there's not fish there. Just a couple of things, it means our head's down. And we'll be running if anything. So trying to slow the fly up in this run and hang it. I'm looking at the colour of the water, it's actually not as bad as I thought, so we'll soon know if they're interested, we'll, have, we'll hook up. <laughs> this fly is certainly one of those flies that if there's a fish around and they're interested, they'll certainly have a grab at it. it swims really like a small fish. So I'll just take my time here because Stopping points when the fish are running. Uh, the head of the pool, the tail of the pool is a skip in. You just stop for a second. And then he uh, rocks. I see how you spit of rain here. I'm not going too far away from my jacket, I think. And hopefully, if I'm lucky enough, catch a fish. But other than that, if you don't, it's a good day to be out. It's certainly warm, it's I'll tell you the degrees. It's 23 degrees, so What I'm doing here is I'm mending the line so it stays in the far side a wee bit longer. Plus it allows the, the fly to get down a wee bit. But these fish will come up when you see some of the, this, the temperature of the water. It's actually spot on. You just need fish. It is early in the season to be honest with you but it's the first water we've had. Really, I mean, we've had a couple of wee two or three inch here and there, but nothing like this. This would be better. It's another good bit here. This is a good area where we are at the moment. So if there's a fish lying at all, this is a bit funny. Just put on at the fly he's sitting at the moment. A couple of rocks in there I think. You can see the disturbance.
check your fly this is had a kind of oh what it was like it's some was catching on it probably a leaf or so Touching something there, it must be the stone. There's a thing just below the water here, just there. So I mean, just work over it. Check the fly again, just to make sure I've got nothing, no weed on it. Make sure the fly is okay. It's a good lie there lately, I mean the fish will lie off that. Using the full width of the river, I let my fly swing right, right round. Just as it gets to me, then I start to pull in. Just get below that. It's a fair wind blowing down. It's so case coming off my left, so it keeps the fly line away. I have no trees behind me here, so as long as I cast really high, just an overhead cast. There's no need to do anything else. The tail end of the pool is always worth a, a cast that I know it's shit, well, reasonably shallow anyway. Oh, someone's a pulled my fly there. I'm going to have to put that back out. That was a fish, I think. Try it again. It may have been a trout. I know there's a few trout lying over there. Just let it swing around itself. Just the back of that, looks like a stone there. I'll just pull it quick. See if it comes. I wasn't sure if it was, I mean it could have been a salmon, you never know. Um, I've seen the swirl, hopefully I'll see it on camera, but... Um, it's not coming back anyway.
Now the pool I'm coming on to is a uh, there you go, that's a trout. <laughs> Picked a small trout. The fly's as big as him. Oh, there he's away. Check my fly. So I'm saying nearly that one there could have been a trout. It's fine. Okay, back out. Well, one trout. Oops. Well, if the trout can see my fly, the salmon can. Yeah, I've changed the... Basically this is the, the Ayrshire Red, the shrimp and the tube style. It's like a Red Devil type mix. It's a, it's a nice part and part that I've fished for years. And uh, when I did catch a lot of fish on, and uh, it's, it's a smaller in length anyway, not so much in weight. It's got the still got the quarter inch copper tube, and uh, we'll see if this comes. It comes to that. Actually, when I'm told to get my jacket and my, my flies, I actually saw another fish further up. So there's one or two fish running. They're actually running through, so... It's gonna... It could just be fish turning as they come into the pool that I'm seeing. But we'll see how, how we go. I'm gonna fish the pool below first though, before I go back up. I just got to be in the right place at the right time when there's fish moving or fish working their way up and uh, looking for the for them to settle. When you're fishing for salmon especially uh, when they're running, you've basically got to try and catch their eye just as a trout. God. Another trout at the back of the bottom there. Just must be trout. There we are. Move down uh, and fish the top of the pool. Just going to get in and wait out. Just going to mend the line here because we're right at the top here. I'm going to move out so I can hang the fly. You want to, in this, the neck of this pool. You definitely want to hang your fly right at the top. And uh, give the fish plenty of time to see your fly. Especially if they're running up. I've not seen anything move in this pool. Just the one I'm in that's just now. Uh, both in here and uh, Halfway down, or to, most of the way down anyway. I begin to think that that was a fish it took me, because exactly where it was. Actually, it took me twice. A half go and then a pull. So, 
I'm not doing too well this year so far with the getting the takes. Well, not many fish around, but they get a take. Jeez, and miss it. Well, me, I've usually quite high when your fish takes, the salmon takes. It's usually quite positive. I've just been unlucky. It's just that's what happens sometimes. And uh, getting that first fish is always a bit of a struggle. Oh, there's a fish. Hopefully you saw that. Yo, that was a salmon. That was a big fish. You know exactly where he is. Just uh, maybe just heading up. That's one I've seen. The rest are just more uh, the ones I've the ones I've heard and the one the ones I've actually seen are more a splash or a swirl below the surface. So anyway, we're fishing. There's fish there, which is means it's up to you now where you catch. We'll see. Fish mainly run up the far side here, rather than up this water. I mean, they'll be below this. So, you want to get your fly right across. It's going to come in here. It's quite deep in front of me, so I'm going to have to. I'm actually going to work my fly. So that I can touch with it because of the backwater here. And then just work my way down. Winds gusting all the time is I may get down here actually. I'm actually coming up wind to where that fish was. So I wanna be more contact with my flies. Or well, my fly anyway. I keep saying flies because I'm not used to fishing two or three. So what I'll do here is I'll, I'll cast and let it fish out normally and then I'll strip. So both messes, I'll put both methods over the fish as I come down. So I'll let it swing out. I'm 
next cast I'll, I'll strip it out because I do like a fly strip sometimes so the fly is swinging out really nice so and you see a kind of belly coming onto your line you just slowly pull and then as I say next one I'm going to strip it in I'm actually going to check my fly before I come onto the fish always pays to make sure everything's fine nothing worse just check your hook's okay fly, yep I'm going to quickly head down to the run below and then I'm going to head away back up I'm not going to spend too much time I'm just going to keep fishing this at a better areas especially with the fish running um, just where they're more likely to stop rather than fish the, the hole of the pool so we're going to move down. This is top of the pool here. Just going to lengthen my line a wee bit. I've had a couple of fish in this net before when they're running. So I have just there's a lie it seemed to seem to lie quite just where it the V where it meets in the middle is a good lie but Really warm, so it's clammy. As I say, I'm not going to spend too long and I'll fish the main areas. Oh, there we go. Oh, come on. 
That was that, all I had to do was tighten up, mate, come back. That was a push. Holy moly. See if it comes back. Oh dear. <laughs> I'm not doing well. That's I mean that Oh jeez. What can I say? All I had to do was hang on. And then normally all we have to do is fish turn, take a fly, and uh, it would hook up. I would just take the weight and then go. But that there, it's the perfect take. It just should real. I check my fly. I should actually check my fly. Just right where I thought the fish would be. It may come back, you never know. Because it it was just on and off. I don't know if he's, you would have seen it. Check my fly. It looks fine. Trebles are sharp. Hooks are sharp anyway. Oh dear, what can I say? Well folks, that's salmon fishing for you. <laughs> for mine this year anyway. I've... Hopefully it might come back. We'll, we'll, annoy, we'll try and annoy it. So... Season can be like that, you can, it's just the way things work. To be honest, I've never lost so many fish. Well, I can't remember losing as many fish as this. I've never even got excited there. Never had a chance. Ah, but anyway, we just drop down here. Hopefully, there's another one, or he may come back, you never know. Okay, I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to head up and fish the pool where I started and uh, come back through. I may change to a, a wally gun. It was, well, basically the wally gun is my favourite fly. Well, to say it's my favourite fly, it's the fly that I've had most fish on. So you'd have to put it down as that. Oops. Anyway, we'll move up. Oops. And see how we get on. We could go down and fish the pools below. I'm going to stick to these main pools, the ones. Are, I mean, the one below looks quite inviting, but we'll leave it and we'll move up. Okay, if you can hear or see, just obviously see the rain. Got my jacket on. I've got two flies on like I was doing, I've got two doubles on. So I have. And uh, I 
We'll double the chances up as here, just trying something different. So I've got basically a Durrish shrimp in the, the dropper, which is a olive and orange and yellow, a wee bit of brown in it. Uh, in the dropper, something a wee bit bright. And then I've got uh, basically a, a shrimp fly, a claret and red shrimp fly. Both are size. Well, they're basically size, uh, oh, no, it's the sixties more than anything. Some are a bit, this a bigger water, it's in colour, is ideal. And uh, we'll see, we'll just work short first. And uh, see how we get on. Just fish in the same way. You see, having the two flies on, try and stop this rain. This rain shouldn't it last too long. There's some reasonable cloud, or well, the clouds start to break behind me a wee bit. So we'll see how it goes. Just fishing a short cast here. You can see the dropper, it's quite close to the surface, that's what I want. And uh, you never know. You see, I've tried. The main methods I like to fish with, but when you're not doing, then you just change to something different. The more methods you have, the better, to be honest with you. I've not seen a fish in a long time, so the fish have actually probably moved through the ones I saw, and uh, even the ones that I, the one that I had took had got a pool from. So we're looking for either one or two fish moving in. So check my flies, always check your flies every so often, especially when you're fishing the two flies anyway. Flies look quite good. Tails up, let's see where to check. And then, I've got quite a bit of weed on this one. So, Jesus. So it's a go.
the other trout. I shall maybe stop to the trout fishing. Trout like these flies. Especially when being stripped, they seem to be taking them. The rain easing. Good. Get my Jake, my hood off. Just gonna check my flies. Make sure everything's fine. It's fine. Moving down quite quickly, just below this, there's a branch, as I said, in just there, I've got to get below that. Uh, and then where I missed the salmon when I first got here, I might get the fly in that area, so just in case it's still there, and maybe think of another, another go, the fly. Just then about there, the back of that stone where that fish was. I'll get down into this run here. I'm not going to go down to the pool below, I'm just going to fish the run at the top of this one. And then I'm going to head up and try maybe a pull at the top or further up as we go head up towards the car. Oop. I changed back to the, the tube fly. I just felt they were skating the, the, the two the flies were skating too much. I went down so I put what I started with and uh, I've got the alley shrimp on in this a quarter inch copper tube so and I actually just I saw a fish jump here it's, I don't know if by the time I've changed it's going to run through uh, but we'll soon find out it's the first fish I've saw in a wee while and uh, We've got the option to change to another for a different tube fly. It's, it's getting down, it's sitting a wee bit better. Big slidey stone here. That's it. So, I actually jumped close to the bank. Doesn't mean to say that's where it's lying though. Again, I look like a fish running, so. But then. You never know. At least the rain stopped. That was heavy rain. So it was. And uh, yeah, the flies getting down much better. Hanging a wee bit better. So we'll see how. You get any pools? Oh, 
Just looking for a good solid pool instead of a wee nip like the fish we the two fish we missed were fish that were just nipping at the fly rather than having a real go at it. Uh, we'll see. This is salmon fishing. You've got to work for your fish, you don't, they don't give up. They don't. It's the odd day you get a really good day. I mean, this season so far, it's. Uh, I've had fish for the salmon, but. Their season's really in the summer months, really. Into. August, September, I mean, it lasted the end of October, but fish are really, if there's any about, they're really dark. This time of year, every fish should be nice and sober, especially the fresh run fish, anyway. Clean. This is the lodge pool and the pool above here, this one above, it's called the slate pool. Um, I used to fish the other side many years ago and these were the best, the best two pools on this, that stretch. A uh, wee quick cast through. Nice trout rolls there. Gonna give us just a couple more casts. I'm only trying the top of the pool and the where the fish may lie and uh, see if we can bring a fish up. But main pool, the main run I want to fish is the further up. There's a, a neck that and the water's up this at height. The fish will lie for a minute. Oops. Coming up. There's a couple of pools I could fish here, but me uh, ignore this one here, and then just go up to the. Basically, you know, it's quite noisy up here. The roads are close to the river. You may hear the the traffic. That's the only thing. 
I'm going to give what do you call it the what do you call the duck pool a quick cast before I got to the car I'm just fishing the top of the duck pool uh, it's a good area just to fish right at the very top here and uh, there's a fish running up through the, the stop here for a second so I'm just trying to fly right at the net here and give it 5 minutes or so, not give it too long before I head to the car It's quite a fast pull this coming out the bridge The bridge is best fish from the other side this side, it's near impossible from this side to fish it, so properly anyway. We'll give it a go. It's been a length of my cast here as we I've been fished right in there. So I have many years ago it's from the other side, so And the fish are running, they'll obviously stop just before they go up. And hopefully they'll have a wee grab at the fly before they do that. Oops. And the tree there. in the season though it's still early hopefully there has been three fish caught in the beat through the week uh, over the last week or so I mean I missed two of the day had my chances but Mr Luck wasn't with us it's just the way things go I could have easily had both fish that was the way it worked out. Folks, as I say, we had a, we gave it a good go. But anyway, salmon fishing for you. Maybe next time, a few fishing. So there you go. Anyway, I hope if I get in here, okay. If you enjoy the video, I like to obviously play the fish, even a wee bit longer than the, the takes we got, but we had our chances. Anyway, here we go. Head back to the car. We'll be back as I say.